With respect to that doozy on Sunday between Liverpool and Manchester City, today I'm going to choose West Ham versus Brentford as my focus, or more specifically, Brentford, who have been the story of the season so far. You see, the West London club has a fascinating story behind them, especially if you appreciate the work of Brad Pitt. Bear with me on that one, okay? Here's the quick backgrounder. After nine failed playoff attempts, the Bees returned to the top flight this season for the first time in over 70 years. But that's not the story. Back in 2012, lifelong fan Matthew Benham bought the club. Now, Benham made his money in the gambling world, creating matchbook and smart odds. He is a data junkie and asked fans to join him on a journey that would build their club through the use of hard data and analytics. So, kind of like Moneyball the movie. Hence the Brad Pitt reference earlier, okay? Now, Benham is a very private guy and doesn't like being compared to Billy Bean, of course. But everyone does it anyway because it's working really well. His club, you see, has no academy, simply a B team where he gives all sorts of outcasts a chance. Premier League regulars, Neil Mope, Ollie Watkins and Sai Ben Rama have all been sold by Brentford for a massive profit over the years and given how well his team's playing now, some of the current team will be set for big clubs very soon. Mathematicians run the club rather than jaded old football geezers. And yeah, Brentford have lost just once this season so far. They've won twice, including against Arsenal in the opener, and they drew Liverpool last week in maybe the match of the season so far. Thomas Frank, the manager, has bought in 100%, and his team plays a fun, attacking brand of soccer. So West Ham, who are also one of these stories so far this season, had better be ready for a battle. It may be early, but Brentford are here to stay for a while, and I think they'll grab some points this weekend as well. 